Yes, it is called the Dove Advanced Hair Series Quench Absolute for Curly Coarse. Whoa! <laughs> Today I'm going to be washing my hair, um, lately, I mean, it's not been its best, it's been kind of like really hard to get through, like unusually, and I think it's because like the sebum in my hair is just kind of not working the same as it used to be, and I don't think it's because it's blocked, because I don't think it's blocked, but yeah, I mean, I also have eczema, so I feel like maybe that could have something to do with it, but it's a little bit more unmanageable, or a lot more unmanageable. Now it's just, like, that's hard to get out. Like, I can't. It's just, like, every... Second, it's just really hard to take my hand out of it, so I decided to try some new products. I thought about Dove and I got this Quench Absolute. I got the shampoo, I got the conditioner, and I got the mask. Mm -hmm. And they all really actually say the same thing. Quench hair dryness, strengthen the hair shaft, improve hair manageability, smooth the hair's fiber surface, seals hair cuticles, and locks in nutrients. So I'm hoping that it does all of that because I need it. Mm. So, we'll see what happens. Okay, so this is my hair after washing with the Quench Absolute for a week, just about, a little bit more than a week. So, reveal. I had it in a twist out. And this is it. So, even when I have it um, in the twisties, it's more, you know, combable now than it has been. So yeah, this is it after a week. <laughs> so I shampooed it. I used the shampoo and the con shampoo and the conditioner and the mask. But this time when I'm washing my hair, I'm going to use just the conditioner and the mask because it's a little bit too early to use the shampoo again. So this is the way it looks when it comes out of the conditioner. I'm just kind of showing you how I, it applies to my hair, and it's a really perfumey smell. I'm not that big of a fan of the perfume smell. Uh, this is how much I've combed out from each section. I combed out this section, this section, this section. So not a lot of hair comes out when using this product. Okay, now I'm gonna wash it off. I'm doing the mask and. This smell is a lot more pleasant. This is the consistency. I'm just gonna put it in my hair like so. And then I'm going to put it all under a shower cap and then use my hoodie dryer and stay under there for like 30 minutes. And then I'm going to show you the results. Okay, so this is. just with the conditioner and the mask. When I first did it, it was soft. But I don't think it was like fluffy. And maybe it's just because it's my second time using it. Or maybe it's because of the absence of the shampoo. Okay, so here I'm just showing you my twist out from after the whole um, washing with the Dove products. I did not unravel, well I did unravel it, but I didn't like separate them afterwards. I just kind of wore them out as you can see from all those gaps in my head, but whatever. Um, yeah. That's what I'm doing. <laughs>
It's <laughs> long pause. <laughs> Okay, so um, I'm doing a re or doing a review on um, the Dove Advanced Hair Series Quench Absolute for Curly Coarse. Whoa! <laughs> Captures five key problems of textured hair. What you trying to say? I tried these out twice before I made this video. First, I tried it with the shampoo. I did watch some other YouTube videos, and like they basically said how amazing the shampoo was. I personally disagree because I've definitely had a more moisturizing shampoo. They were saying how like you can detangle your hair with just a shampoo alone. For me, it felt just like a regular stripping shampoo. It was just kind of like drying. I mean not drying drying, but I could say drying, but not stripping. Either way, it was not moisturizing. As far as slip for the conditioner, I didn't really get the slip. I mean, it was okay in that area, but it did, it helped um, my combs and stuff glide through my hair. I know that sounds like, yeah, it has slip, but it just, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't, like, it didn't really have a slip texture. Well, it came on my hair just like the texture of this um, conditioner looks. That's how the slip was, if that's a better example. Okay, but what I didn't like about this is that you felt the product on your hair. Even after washing it off, you felt like there was something coating your hair. Yes. With the mask, you don't need to use a lot. Like, I literally just get my finger and, like, do a fourth of my hair with that. And it'll be good. And then I'll, like, deep condition it for, like, 30 minutes under a shower cap and a bonnet. And after doing that and the conditioner, just doing the whole entire process, it was really soft because my hair before I tried it, it was it lost a lot of moisture and my hair was really, really dry, really, really rough, the roughest I've ever seen my hair. Ever. Like when I say rough, I mean rough. I would comb out my hair and then when I'm done combing out my hair, I would try to part my hair and couldn't because it was still that is how rough it was. This really helped. And the second time I did it, it made my hair softer and I noticed it had a, a shine to it. And it was sleeker. I've heard people say that this, the shampoo, and the mask are their favorite products, but the conditioner and the mask are mine, especially the mask. I didn't try the, the fourth product, which was like some hair serum. I didn't quite see the point of that. And this is like five, ten, fifteen dollars right there. Was it worth it? Oh yeah, yeah, it is it is worth it. Definitely. So if you ran out, would you buy it again? Yeah. I'm not sure about the shampoo, but yeah. Yeah. Overall, two thumbs up. Four thumbs up. Well, I haven't tried the fourth one, no. and Three I'm not up. giving a thumbs up to the shampoo, so two thumbs up. And then another separate two thumbs up. Alright, so that was my review on the Dove Advanced Hair Series. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thirsty! Went into the desert, try to find a cactus with some water. You open, cut up the cactus, look inside, ain't no water in the cactus. It's just that dry. Like, no oasis in sight. Just dry. Matter of fact, there was a, an oasis. Miles and miles. This was my oasis. And it gave me moisture. Replenished my hair. So I'm very, very, very thankful for this. Like, okay, this conditioner, it didn't give me that, you know, how I was describing this, the whole one didn't really feel like it had much slip, but it did have slip type thing that I was saying before. 
yeah, this didn't have either of those, like me combing my hair with it, it wasn't, wasn't really comfortable with doing that, and I was just like, maybe, because this is keratin, it's supposed to be making my hair stronger, maybe that's the strength I'm feeling, maybe that's why it's not as soft feeling as I, as I thought, what about this again? No. Oh. I'm not saying that it's a bad product, I mean, I guess it depends on what kind of hair you have. But this one didn't really work for me. One shampoo conditioner set that I like is the Shea Moisture's the Hair Retention one. And that shampoo, that actually gave me moisture when I used the shampoo. That's why I was just like, this, this one, no. But, I mean, that's a sulfate-free shampoo, so I guess that's one up that it has from this one. I think it's a lot more that makes the Shea Moisture um, shampoo more as moisturizing as it does than this one. And they need to step up their game on the whole moisture thing in the, the um, shampoo department. Yeah, I did have this um, this calcium conditioner. I was like, that, that has slip. And it is very moisturizing to my hair. Does it make my hair like this? I don't really think I can really answer that question because my hair wasn't as dry as it was now when I used the calcium conditioner last. And I've never actually like done this to my hair because like I, I used this stuff and then I just went straight after it and put shea butter in my hair and some coconut oil in my hair and then I twisted it and I, I took it out. Usually when I'm doing the um, calcium conditioner it's just to um, get my curls going so I can wear it out in a wash and go. But that's why I can't really um, compare the, the calcium conditioner and this conditioner because I did two completely different things with it. Ooh! One more thing, one more side note. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so you see this light brown part right here, right? That happened with baking soda. So I used to like, you know, wash my face and stuff with baking soda and it would get like into my hair a little bit and it got lighter and my hair is completely fine. It's not damaged or anything like that. And I'm just saying this because I had the thought like, hmm, can I lighten my hair with baking soda? Because you can lighten your teeth with baking soda. And I looked it up online. I, did, I just wanted with like baking soda and water. And I saw on YouTube that they were doing like baking soda and soap. And some other person used shampoo and it looked stripping. And this one girl, she actually tried on her extensions, the shampoo and the baking soda. And yeah, her hair was, her extensions were damaged. And I would just kind of like to say, just do it with water. Maybe it wouldn't be so damaging. Because my hair is not damaged. And my hair is very easily susceptible. So, yeah, I mean, it doesn't happen like right away, but it doesn't take long for the process to happen. I had to be extra careful behind my ears with the baking soda. I don't really want to change my hair color. I'd rather keep my natural hair color. So yeah, just wanted to put that out there. Alright, so, bye bye. Peace.